हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू माई चैनल सो आई रिसेंटली हैड टू गो टू एन एंगेजमेंट पार्टी सो दिस इज़ अ वेरी बिगिनर फ्रेंडली स्मोकी पिंक आई लुक सिंस आई वॉज प्लानिंग टू वेयर अ पिंक साड़ी द फर्स्ट स्टेप वॉज टू प्रेप माई फेस सो आई यूज द रेयर ब्यूटी मेस टू प्राइम माई फेस एंड आई डैप्ट इट इन विद अ डैम ब्यूटी ब्लेंडर फॉर द नेक्स्ट पार्ट आई यूज दिस के बाय कटरीनाज कलर करेक्टिंग प्राइमर अंडर माई आईज सिंस आई हैव अ लॉट ऑफ डार्क सर्कल्स सो आई जस्ट वॉन्टेड टू कैंस sell out using an orange corrector i mean i this is my step for even day to day looks as well it really helps with the with the dark circles and i put it around my mouth as well since i have some darkness near uh, around my mouth as well i'm going in with this maybelline age rewind eraser concealer it's a very nice concealer very light consistency so i'm just going it on top of all the places i've put the primer and also putting it in uh, you know other parts of my face where i have some discoloration or slight marks and again i'm going in with my damp beauty blender and i'm blending everything out so that it looks seamless i'm even taking it on top of my eyes i don't essentially put more concealer on my lids i just take whatever is left on the beauty blender and i take it on top of my eyelids I'm using another concealer on top of Maybelline since Maybelline gives more of a natural look. I for this particular engagement look, I need more full beat kind of coverage. I need more full coverage. So I'm going in with this L'Oreal Infallible concealer and when I tell you this will hide your last lives since as well. That's how full coverage it is. That's why I'm going with small dots all over my face because i know this blends out very nicely it's very creamy so you just have to again take your beauty blender and just like work your way around it and as you can see it's blending out really nicely but it's also giving very good coverage it has managed to hide all of the discoloration and the dark circles that i have going on i had recorded this thinking if my look came out nice i will post it and i was quite happy with the look i had created so here i am editing it and posting it. i've also put some concealer as you can see on my nose and on my forehead it just helps in highlighting the high points of my face and again i'm just taking my beauty blender and i'm blending everything out for it to look seamless so that there's no hard lines or anything like that To set my concealers, I'm using the Maybelline's compact powder. I just want to make sure that my concealer is not creasing, so I'm just going in all over the places where I've applied concealer. And if you see me dancing throughout this video, just ignore it. I was blasting music and having a good time. And if you want, I'll leave the playlist in the description below for you as well. and now i'm finally going in with the step that really really makes me nervous and this is applying the eye shadow i'm using huda beauty's rose quartz palette honestly this is the only palette i have it's a very nice pinky nude kind of palette i leave a picture of the palette on the screen so that you know which colors i'm using but to start describing the process how i went about it is I took the shades Aura and Gratitude and I put it all over my lid. Make sure it was looking even um just to give it this pink nude kind of look since I was planning on wearing a pink saree, making sure it's looking even on both eyes. So since I have uh, already put the darker shades all over my lid I wanted to define like the center part a little bit uh, and I used the shade radiate for the center part so you can see that I've put like a tiny bit just on the middle center part of my lid just to highlight it a little bit Next I'm using the K Beauty's Kajal. I'm not being very precise with it. I'm just applying one line. Uh, you don't need to be very precise with it. And yes, I do hold my lids down because I blink a lot. 
so i need to hold it down if there is any makeup artist or makeup experts watching it please don't give me hate for it i'm a very beginner doing my makeup to smoke out the eyeliner that i have put i'm i'm using the shade again aura and i'm mixing it with mantra i'm mixing these two shades to smoke out my eyelid again i'm not trying to be very precise with it since i am trying to make it a smoky look and then i'm doing the same thing on the other eyelid as well so since this kajal is smudge free kajal so as soon as i apply it i want to smudge it out because if i'm going to wait for too long it won't smudge out and it will set in its place which is not what i want I'm taking the shades Aura and Mantra again and this time I'm using it to add color to my lower lash line. So that's why I had applied a good full coverage concealer so that I can do a little bit of smoky around my lower line as well. Um so I'm going very precise with it and I'm really happy about it as you can tell because eye shadow is something I'm not very good at so it was a big deal for me to actually nail it but yeah I'm going very precise with it because I don't want it to start looking like uh, panda eyes or you know start looking like dark circles again for the next step I'm using the shade energized it's a shimmer shade so I'm using my uh, fingertips to blend it out and as you can tell it's looking very nice since it's a rose gold kind of a shade and i am wearing a pink and golden kind of sari so it works perfectly and i'm i had to go in twice uh, to get like slight shimmer out of it but yeah it looked very nice and again i'm putting it on the center part of it i'm not just blending it out on my entire eyelid just the middle part of it where i had applied the shade uh, radiate Next I'm taking the shade self love and I'm putting it on the inner corners of my eyes it makes it pop really nice so I'm going very lightly with my tiny finger because it can blend out or it can smudge the entire look and I really don't want to do that so I'm going very lightly I'm taking the same shade and I'm putting it on my eyebrow bone as well so right below my eyebrows it really makes it pop and it really makes it look nice so yeah th that's my entire eye look and I am very happy about it because I always mess it up somehow now that the eye makeup is done I'm using this Fenty Beauty tint for my base makeup this is honestly the only tint or foundation that I have it's very nice gives a very uh, light coverage but it gives just enough to give like that flawless face so I'm just blending it out again with my damp beauty blender and I'm using my set setting mist again from rare beauty so i just want to blend everything out make sure it's set in place yes i use a rare beauty blush after i set my face when it's still slightly damp i feel lays on me for longer it's a nearly neutral shade so i like it since i have already put some shimmer on my uh, eyelid i'm keeping everything very simple for the next step i'm taking rare beauty's highlighter in the shade flaunt and i like to take it on the back of my hand first and then blend it out with my fingers i think it does a lot better job and i do this after my mist as well because it feels like it stays on better use my fingers to blend it out and it looks very natural well there's nothing natural about makeup but yeah it looks more seamless and i apply it on my cheekbones or like the high points and then i apply it on my nose bridge as well i always like to curl my lashes i do it on the day to day as well but for a situation like this i definitely like to curl my lashes i'm using my rare beauty mascara on top of this this is my go to my most favorite mascara it gives such a nice volume and such a nice lift to the lashes so yeah i'm doing it both on the upper lashes and lower lashes next i'm applying this nykaa beauty's lipstick it's a very nice nude shade uh, i stick to my nude lipstick I don't really like a lot of color and on top of it I'm putting in this Fenty gloss. I know it's not available in India so I'll I think there's a dupe for it from Maybelline. I'll leave a link for that in the in the description below. But yeah, that's the look. That's what I've put together and I was quite happy with it because it's slightly natural but glam at the same time. 
this is me at the event in my sari having a great time and i just wanted to show you guys the look in the different lighting and in search slow mo shots of course doing what i do best flip my hair around so yeah that's the look let me know in the comments what did you think of it do subscribe to my channel but yeah i'll see you on the next one thanks for watching i love you bye